Welcome to my first timers travel guide to Puerto Vallarta. In this video, we're gonna cover everything you need to know before visiting and some helpful tips to know before you come here. So let's get started. Puerto Vallarta is known for being a coastal resort city with warm, swimmable beaches, an abundance of local culture, Spanish colonial architecture, flavorful, cheap street food, captivating sunsets, outdoor adventures, and so much more. Let's start with what time of year you should visit. The best time of year to go to Puerto Vallarta is between November and April, with January through early April being the busiest, as the weather is the most pleasant. For great weather but fewer tourists, I recommend visiting Puerto Vallarta in early November or late April, as these are the beginning and tail ends of high season. The coldest month is January and the hottest month is July. Something to consider if you're on a budget? Because of the rainy season and high humidity, late July through September is usually the cheapest time to travel to Puerto Vallarta. Moving on to how many days you need to visit Puerto Vallarta, if it's your first visit, I recommend at least five days and five nights. A week is perfect, but if you're here for two weeks, there's so many day trips and hidden gems to discover that you'll never run out of things to do. Alternatively, if you only have a few days, that's still enough time to see the main sights, visit a few great restaurants, and sample some great street food. As far as where to stay in Puerto Vallarta for your first time, I recommend either Centro or the Zona Romantica. These are the two neighborhoods with the old town feel, cobblestone streets, and lots of great restaurants. Or Cinco de Diciembre, has a similar feel to Old Town, but with slightly lower prices. Zona Romantica is busy and lively, whereas Centro is a little more low key. In my opinion, the Romantic Zone is the best area to stay in Puerto Vallarta to really soak up the essence of this beautiful city. This neighborhood is compact, so it's walkable to everywhere. It's the best area for nightlife, street tacos, drinks, music, great beaches, it's just a lively area in general. It's also the official gay district too. Some of my favorite hotels in the Zona Romantica are Casa Maria, which is adults only, Rivera del Rio for stellar views and a little quieter vibe, and Hotel Posada de Roger if you're on a budget. If you want quiet but still walkable, stay three or more blocks up from the Malacan and you'll get great views. This is in the Centro or Gringo Gulch neighborhoods. This neighborhood is home to some of Vallarta's most famous attractions, like the stunning Our Lady of Guadalupe Cathedral, Elizabeth Taylor's former house, and the panoramic viewpoint called Hill of the Cross. My latest favorite hotel here is Luna Liquida. There's only 16 rooms, so it's more of a boutique hotel or almost a bed and breakfast vibe. And this hotel had one of the best views we've ever experienced in Puerto Vallarta. Now, what should you expect to budget for your time in Puerto Vallarta and how much will things cost? I will say Puerto Vallarta has gotten more expensive over the last few years, but it can still be relatively inexpensive if you want it to be. Regarding accommodations, if you're on a budget, you can find great hotels in the heart of the Romantic Zone for about $40 per night. You can also find dozens of highly rated boutique hotels ranging from $100 to $250 per night. Of course, you can spend way more than that if you want. When it comes to food, you can spend as little or as much as you want and have a delicious meal every single time. Cost does not equal quality, quantity, and flavor in this city. I would say plan to spend anywhere from $20 to $60 per day per person on food and drinks. If you're staying in Nuevo Vallarta, for example, which is a little more Americanized, you can expect to pay a lot more. The deeper you go into Centro, Cinco de Diciembre, or the Romantic Zone, for example, 
you can find great meals for $5 per person and even less for breakfast. So this is like street taco stands, either birria tacos for breakfast or al pastor tacos for dinner. Any of the street carts, they're so good, you can eat there. Or local authentic restaurants like Tacos Acapulco. If you eat at restaurants that mostly attract tourists, like this place called Peepees, it's gonna run you about $40 to $50 for two people, and that is with drinks. As far as how much tours and attractions cost, many activities in Puerto Vallarta are free. There's all kinds of beautiful sites to visit. You could honestly spend two or three days and not even spend any money seeing sites or paying for any sort of attraction. I do have a full blog post listing 23 of my favorite free things to do in Puerto Vallarta, and I'll link that in the description. There's some great walking tours, like taco tours or tequila and mezcal tasting experiences. Any of those tours that last about three hours, they're gonna range between 40 and $65 per person. When you get into day tours and excursions like snorkeling, ATVing, zipline tours, visiting the botanical gardens, going to see different towns or villages, those will run you closer to $100 to $160 per person. But that usually does include a meal like lunch. As far as the main things to see and do on your first trip to Puerto Vallarta, you've got an endless amount of activities. From the Malacan to the cobblestone streets, Sunsets at the Los Muertos Pier, night markets, river markets, the butterfly sanctuary, to day trips and excursions and visiting all the cute towns up along the coastline and into the mountains, there's something for everyone. I won't list everything here because I've got a couple of other videos that go into way more detail about things to do in Puerto Vallarta or dozens of articles on my travel website. I also get a lot of questions about transportation and getting around the city. When it comes to transportation in Puerto Vallarta, you have a ton of options. We've got taxis, Uber is here in Puerto Vallarta. You use it exactly the same way you do at home. And you could also use the buses. They operate frequently and you can pretty much get wherever you wanna go for about 10 pesos, which is like 50 cents. When arriving at the airport, you can take a taxi which have regulated fares based on the zone that your hotel is in, but you can also take an Uber or a city taxi which are much cheaper. As soon as you exit the airport, take a quick left and walk across the pedestrian bridge which is where the pickup area is. As far as safety goes in Puerto Vallarta, it's a really safe city to visit. In fact, probably safer than many major North American cities. Just use the same amount of common sense that you would in any other city, really. So just keep your wits about you, be aware of your surroundings, don't leave your bag unattended somewhere while you go to look at something, don't carry huge amounts of cash on you at any time, don't wear a huge amount of flashy, expensive jewelry, just little things like that and you'll be totally fine. However, there are a few scams here that do happen that you should be aware of. So if you want more info about those, I do have an entire video that explains everything and you can check that out here. I hope you found this video useful for planning your next trip to Puerto Vallarta. If you want to explore the area even further, I've got a ton of other videos that you might enjoy. Thanks for watching.